Hi everyone and welcome back to the one or monthly tournament from SD League. Today, for the end of the week, we have our final game with Mix and Z2. Z2 over on the left in red playing as the 11th E. And over on the right in blue, we have Mix playing as the 5th E. Once again, we're having a bit of a French Civil War here. Let's have a look at what Mix has down at this side of the map. So we have some Dragon Paras heading up to the front of Charlie there, right in the front of that city area. We have a couple of AMX 10s heading up to this area, one going really far forward. We've got some more Recon heading into there. We've got some Recon heading into the center of this area, pretty much standard what we'd expect. And then we have a bunch of Grenadiers and some Commandos in Choppers got a good spread here some infantry going into charlie quite a lot going to bravo and then obviously a command going to the top of the map and also a command coming into echo okay what have we got at the other side z2 has down a load of stuff here we've got milan 2 powers we've got sas powers plenty of recon there we also got some chasseurs all heading up to various positions here Pretty standard spread there. We've got a VBL Milan heading up to here. Good in a nice defensive position. We've got a bunch of Chasseurs Paras and Legionnaires heading into Bravo. They'll be going up against, I assume, those commandos. Yes, indeed. There's a Mirage out as well for Mix. I thought he might have bought an aircraft because it seemed a little bit thin on the ground already. Got a Gazelle Hot and an AML 90 Lynx heading up there. A Lynx going down here along with a command, which will likely head into there and then to Bravo. And we've got some reservists, weirdly, coming in the very back there. Heading. Where are they heading? And they're heading into here strangely and then we have that command heading in here and then going over to the center a mirage coming in against the mirage here and another mirage in for mix 90 as well this could end badly for z2's mirage there let's spin ourselves around and another mirage in for z2 let's switch over to the other controller now z2 gets the kill Mix loses one Mirage. Commandos arriving at a similar time to Legionnaires Paris down here. This is where the first combat is going to happen. We already have one of those choppers stunned. I think the Commandos will land here. Mirage coming in to try and get some shots on the chopper. Oh! One chopper is detonated as soon as it lands on the ground it seems there. The other two sets of commandos do manage to land and survive. Gazelle hot here trying to hit those reinforcements. They have deployed in time though. Mirage coming in to get some kills on those superhumans before they can be sold. A little bit skirmishing in the middle of the map up there as well. The AMX-10 seem to have stalled engaging on those Paras SAS. Command is in the center though for Z2. He will get an early advantage in points. However, top of the map has now been capped as well. Just these two central points uncapped. The center almost capped by Z2 though. And there we go. It is now capped. Back to plus one for Z2. But Mix90 being super aggressive up here. He's not doing so well in Bravo with those two squads. But up here, look at this. He's pushed across the point pretty effectively. Three squads left and the command for Z2 here. Oh, Vab destroyed. Milan 2 Parrot doing a decent job there. AMX 10 pushing up that way, hitting those reservists. They're in a weird position, those reservists. Is it just me or are they in a weird position? I'm not sure why they're all the way over there. Chasseau is here. Being hit by an AMX. And taking fire from the infantry, though those recon infantry not looking too hot right now. Another AMX-10 coming in here. I also hear a jet coming in at the back here. That jet was coming in to go for that gazelle hot, I assume. Did not manage to get a kill on it. Legionnaires Paris surrounding those commandos that remain there. Gazelle hot 
There it goes. Finally goes down the cannon fire. Reinforcements arriving here in the form of Chasseau's Paras for Z2. He's looking pretty good right now. Still plus one and seemingly in control of this point as well. Zooming out briefly. Let's just have a look over at this side. We do have another another AMX-10 coming in for Mix-9. He's really leaning into those AMX-10s at the moment. He's also bringing in a command for Bravo. Grenadier Voltigas with the A-Pillars launcher coming in as well. Lots of Mirages flying around here. I'm not sure what that one's going for. Oh, Mirage is going against Mirage. This time it's Z2 that loses his. The center is now controlled by Mix-90, and I mean, he's really pushing up those units. Chasseur's power is getting pummeled quite a bit here, and the power's SAS taking a lot of fire at this side as well. There are a couple of choppers in the back there, a Gazelle Hot and a Gazelle Cannon, laying down some support. There goes one of those AMXs. More reinforcements being called in here at the moment. Mix-90 looking in a reasonable position here, though. Certainly dishing out the damage and has forced the command out the point. Combat down here between the Chasseurs Paras and the Grenadier Voltigers at this side. Now, for me, Z2 is in a much better position here. He is being aggressive. He's pushing across the point, which is great. He should be able to clear... Mix 90 out of this point. He should be able to clear him out. In the center, however, looking more in favor of Mix 90 at the moment. Certainly, Z2 pretty much out of this point. Whether he can get back in that top corner with those Chasseurs Paris is a different matter. Another chopper goes down. Seems right now that Mix has air superiority, which could prove crucial long-term in this game. Milan Parra is easily dealt with by those two squads there. AML 90 Lynx goes down as well. Taken out by the AMX-10 back here. Gazelle Cannon pushing in this way. Though, again, I don't imagine it's going to survive too long. I see a jet coming in. Uh, going straight for that gazelle. Down it goes. They just don't have enough health to be dealing with these jets. Now, Z2 has infantry, but they are outside the point. They're in a good position to be hit by the AMX-10s. And some good fire support there from Mix-90 and his AMX-10s. He's trying to move them up now into the buildings, which will cut off the AMX-10's line of sight to some extent. Now equally, Z2 doing a good job at the back here with those ERC-90s firing in at those infantry. They should get a kill on these Grenadiers, surely. Reservists coming in as well there. Now realistically, Mix-90 doesn't have a lot in here. There goes another chopper to that jet. That jet is just racking up the kills right now. Back here... Mistrals are arriving here again to deal with these choppers. More commandos coming in in a chopper as well. Down at the bottom point on the top of the hill. Well, as expected, Z2 has taken control here. Those grenadiers need killing really. And he's not sort of in a position with multiple squads to take them out. There is an AMX-13 coming in there, but that should be easily dealt with if it's pushed up too far. But I think it's going to be held back by Mix-90. Not much happening at the very bottom or very top of the map in this game. It's all focused in the middle. Z2 is back in the point, just not with a command as yet. But he is at least back in the point. Some jets fighting over at the back of the map there. Whether one of them comes out on top. Mirage versus Mirage. Both of them are evacuating before either has been killed. So nothing too exciting there. AMX 10s. Doing a good job here. One has actually died down here. He's down to just two. And one further towards the top of the map. 
Lots of skirmishing happening just under the camera here. Loads of infantry moving in this way towards this point. Well, the Chasseur's power is completely outnumbered now. Not seemingly any reinforcements coming into this point for Z2 either. It looks like Mix90 is the one bringing stuff in here. Obviously he needs to overwhelm the defensive force here. But realistically Z2 does need to breach the center with his command so they can start gaining points again. Because at the moment it's actually Mix90 that's managed to take over in control. Here in the center is literally building to building fighting again. Interestingly, Mix has pushed some recon up at the top there against those reservists that we saw early game. I'm just going to rotate us back round. I think right now, those ERC-90s are needed to be providing fire support, but not quite far enough up. The issue is they're not going to be great against the AMX-10s, and that's a big problem. He needs something that can deal with those AMX-10s that are still in play. I get, yeah, AMX-10 kills the ERC-90. The other one smokes, but it goes down anyway. It's very, very difficult to deal with AMX-10s. Back here, we've still got these squads pushing forward. And at this far side, we do see this one Chasseurs Paris that have pushed up solo and just got annihilated by everything that was there. We've got some AXMX 10Ps, we've got Chasseurs, and we've got Sapu's Flam pushing up here. This could be bad for Z2. He's got plenty of infantry there, one squad badly damaged. But obviously in a forest fight with those flame troops, he's going to really struggle. Especially if they've got fire support from the AMX 10s. There's Grenadiers coming in here as well. Mix is starting to pump a lot of infantry into this point, and unfortunately Z2 hasn't been reinforcing it. So although he's got a lot at the front there, I think he's going to struggle against what Mix is bringing in, basically. In the middle, Z2 seemingly has more units around. It looks like there's more red, but he's really struggling to get in the point and in the point with his command at the moment. But certainly Mix90 has started to bring in less to the middle than he was as he refocuses on Bravo as well. Still some infantry coming in and AMX30 coming in there as well. The AMX30 will again cause issues. It's a reasonably heavy tank. Okay, not that heavy, but you know, it's better than the ERC90s coming in at the other side. Lots of skirmishing down here still. Those Chasseurs Paras are finally dead. And the Grenadiers are pushing into the point. Reinforcements now being called in at the back there. And the fight has started down here at the front of the point. Pioneer Flams, or the Sappos Flams in this case, doing a lot of damage. They're just literally melting these infantry down. And obviously causing a lot of stress and cohesion loss. Vehicles should be easily dealt with. Well, there's an AMX 10P skirting around the back at the bottom here. That could go straight through the point and try and get a kill on the command. But the infantry obviously not faring very well against those flamethrowers. And the grenadiers, lots of grenadiers coming in. Some of them at the top there quite badly damaged. But there are some fresh ones coming in as well. Z2 scrambling to call in more reinforcements for this point now. I wonder if he has flame troops. I didn't see what he called in there. Let's have a look. What's happening in the middle? It felt like for a little while there, Mix was a little bit further back in that central point. And it is the case that Z2's managed to get back in this corner in a reasonably big way, along with the AML 90s firing in. Unfortunately, the other corner he hasn't managed to get into, and his command is still out of the point up there. Down here, those Chasseurs Paras are pushing back out. He's managed to actually kill the Flame Troops. I'm genuinely surprised by that. Chasseurs Paras engaging on the Chasseurs, at, but the Grenadiers still should overwhelm here. Reservists coming in, though, along with some Chasseurs Paras. Grenadiers 
Pushing around the back there, are we going to see Mix do what we saw in some other games recently where one squad sits at the back to cut off that supply line and destroy the vehicles that are coming in? It's a distinct possibility. In the centre, there is this ongoing skirmish that pretty much hasn't stopped since the start of the game. AMX 10s causing issues. AMX 30s now causing issues. Z2 having a really hard time getting a solid foothold in this point to bring the command back in. It's really difficult to say if it's worth just bringing it in at the bottom corner and hoping that Mix doesn't push at least to have a command in there. At least that would get you plus one for the time being. It's really difficult. And with hindsight, we know there's less down at the bottom of that point compared to the top end, but... Obviously, the beauty of hindsight. Grenadiers there engaging on those reinforcements coming in. The reservists have been deployed. Mirage is coming in there. Probably looking for a kill on another chopper. No, one of the Mirages goes down. Not sure what they went for there. Oh, supplies coming in there. Getting hit by the air pillars launcher, which misses twice. There it goes. Finally gets a hit now. Shame about the supplies. He obviously forgot he called them in that far. Both go down. Bit of a waste, but these things happen. Z2 hanging on in there, but there is a command coming in for Mix to go into this point. Now he's got a little foothold in the corner, and he will just slip his command in there. That Puma Kangaroo pushing right up to the front as well. Obviously he's trying to get near these Legionnaires Paras. The Puma is getting hit by that jet. Is likely to survive and land, but as soon as it lands, surely this squad is going to blow them up with an anti-tank weapon. Gazelle cannons being called in there now as well. The kangaroo did land, and it is doing some repairs. But there it goes. Yeah, as I thought, blown up by an anti-tank weapon. Unfortunately, just far too close to that side of the point. In the centre... Not looking good for Z2 either. Mix remains in control of that point in a big way and has actually advanced compared to where he was previously. Especially at this bottom point, he's got more infantry up there. He's moving up the tanks as well. And Z2 really struggling to hold on to this point at the moment. Good amount of reinforcements called in there for Mix 90. And the Grenadier Voltigers at the back there for Mix. Just causing real issues for reinforcements coming in. He needs to use his gazelle cannons here to kill those grenadiers. At least once they're out of the way, he can redirect all of those infantry to that corner to try and chase Mix out. HE Bomber came in there. There we go. Gazelle cannons on those grenadiers. Though they're not hitting it. I'm not entirely sure why they're not able to fire back. Since it's firing at them. The, the gazelle cannons at the back. They're managing to fire at them. There is the AMX-13 down here though. Coming in. Along with that command. And this is going to make it plus one. In fact. Well yeah. It's going to make it temporarily. Plus one to mix. But if he can take this point, it'll be plus two. AMX tearing apart those gazelle cannons. Yeah, gazelle cannons absolutely melted there. The ones at the back really struggling to kill those grenadiers. But Mix90 in a good position at the bottom now. He has managed to progress through the point and in the center here... Well, he is in control. He's got another two AMX 30s in there now, providing fire support. He's just got really good options for where he's positioned his tanks here to fire over to the buildings outside the point. That gap there between the buildings really makes a huge difference. I mean, down here, this gap and this gap here, it's just really allowing tanks positioned here to do a lot of damage to any infantry in these front buildings. 
That's really good positioning for the tanks down here. Really unfortunate for who is E2 trying to push back in. Down at the bottom here. Mix90 is pushing, he is progressing through the point. He's being quite aggressive again. Mix can be quite an aggressive player when he wants to be. I've also seen Z2 be very aggressive as well. These two games, yesterday and today, actually probably some of the most standoffish games I've seen from Z2 in this tournament and the previous tournament. He's usually quite an aggressive player at times. Grenadiers really pushing through this point now. There's really nothing standing in their way. You know, between them and that command, the command is moving. There's an AMX coming in the other side, past those reservists. Gazelle cannons. Getting plenty of shots off on these grenadiers, but it'll take a while for them to kill the squads. And that AMX 13 is pushing in again to try and get some shots on. And here's a Jaguar HE bomber coming in. Dropping at the back there, trying to kill that command. Doesn't get the kill, though. Mirage coming in for that Jaguar. Mirage. Something got the kill. I don't know if it was the Mirage or the Mistral, but certainly it goes down. Gazelle Cannons having free reign at the moment. That AMX-13 not far enough up. Those Grenadiers taking a lot of fire. AMX-30 unfortunately tearing apart those reservists. The reservists obviously do not have any anti-tank weapons. So they're an easy target for any vehicles, in particular a big tank. What is going on up there? Oh wow, Mix is really pushing it here. Mix is actually pushing outside the central point. He's going for the buildings where Z2 has been trying to come in. That's pretty brutal. The VBL command is actually firing at units there, giving away its position. Mix could actually probably snipe that now. Sounds like some choppers going down. Yeah, one of those gazelle cannons finally goes down. Z2 managing to come back in here with some infantry now. Another AMX-13 is coming in at the bottom of this point, though. Zero attempt on the two top points. Zero attempt on the bottom points in this game. All the focus has mainly been on the center and obviously down here in Bravo. The majority of the forces in the center now. Mix just looking very, very strong this game again. I thought it could have gone the other way. Z2 was doing a really good job at the bottom, completely controlled it, but didn't call in any reinforcements for quite a while to this point. And I think that just allowed Mix to bring in enough to overwhelm eventually. And obviously in the center there, I think it was just the aggressive nature of Mix's pushes that really got him this far in the game. Utilizing the AMX-10 stealth capability to hammer the buildings and do a lot of damage to the infantry in them. So again, a really well played game by Mix here. And he's got a nice lead on the points. It's a slow map. It is a very slow map because each of those central points is only worth one. There goes the command at the back and there's the surrender as well. Commiserations there, Z2, really hard fought game again. Again, to mix, though, really well played. Kills to losses, bit of a difference. Not a massive, massive difference, though. Let's have a quick look at them. Mirages did quite well. Grenadiers did all right. The AMX did well, as we would expect. Grenadiers doing a good job there. Over at the other side. Chasseurs Paras doing well. I think for me there, MVP is going to go to the Grenadiers. I think they did a good job. They got a few kills. They're the ones possibly that were at the back of the point there taking stuff out. Hard to say for definite, but very likely. But nothing else to stand out in the grand scheme of things. Great set of games, guys. Commiserations is E2. Well played to Mix90 there. Good set of games. Very well played in that last one. Very aggressive behavior. And it really paid off. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all soon for some more Warno.